Hi beauty queens, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. This is Nicole Guerrero's Best Damn Beauty Oil, and I love to use this as a moisturizer. I find that it does help with my texture blemishes along with my redness on my face. If I find that I do use too much product, then I do like to moisturize it into my body and my lips. I do like to use Best Damn Facial Spray by Nicole Guerrero just to set the oil on our face. I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to fill in my brows. Next, I will be using MAC's Studio Finish Concealer to conceal any dark circles that are sitting on my eyelids. This is going to prep us for eyeshadow and will help us with the longevity of the product sitting on our lids. And to avoid any creasing, I will be using the NYC Smooth Skin Face Powder to set the concealer on our lids. Using Blanc Type by MAC Cosmetics, I will be using this to highlight my brow bone. I will be using Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee Eyeshadow to deposit this into the creases of our eye. This is going to work as a transition color. And for the main star of the show, this is Skinny Dip Pigment by Still Glamorous Cosmetics. These pigments can only be sold online at stillglamourouscosmetics.com. I'll be sure to link it down below. But as you can see, you can use it wet or dry, and I'm just putting this on the very base of our lids. Taking a clean brush, I will blend the pigment along with the creme brulee just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Taking creme brulee once again, I will use that to touch up on the outer creases of my eye. I will be going in with our Skinny Dip Pigment once again just to make sure that the base of our lid is intensified. The eyeshadows that we're going to be working with is going to be Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. This one is called A Latte by Makeup Geek and the last one is called Bitten also by Makeup Geek. I am using these three colors to really contour the outer parts of my eye. I do want to create some intensity, some definition there. I really do need to avoid the base of our lid, but I do feel that with these three colors, the combination just really is really complementary on the pigment. So just make sure that you do blend all of that product out. And for my Z palette, I will be using Blanc Type to re-highlight my brow bone. Then of course, I do blend it all out to make sure that there's no harsh lines. This is a deeply felt eyeliner pen by Kardashian Beauty, and I am going to be using this to do a winged eyeliner. Next, I do like to grab a makeup remover wipe and run it underneath my eye just to make sure that it's nice and clean and to pick up any fallout that may have occurred. Next, I am going to curl my natural lashes. I will put on a thin layer of mascara using L'Oreal's Telescopic. Next is Estee Lauder's Matte Perfecting Primer. I like this because even though I am dry, I do like a matte finish. Yes, I am smelling it a little got on my lips, but I just like to make sure that it doesn't have a weird stench to it. Now when I am rubbing it in, I do like to go in a patting motion to make sure that the product is sinking into my skin. Now I am going in with two different foundations. The first one's gonna be Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation along with Revlon's Nearly Naked Foundation. This is a mixing spoon, I guess is what you can call it. I like to use this to mix foundations. I am using my beauty spoon to cover up any red spots that are sitting on my face just to make sure that I do have an even complexion. This is Sigma's Flat Top Kabuki Brush, and I do like to use this to blend in my foundation. When I am using this brush, I do go in patting motions. I will swipe, dab, pat, just really change up the motions just to make sure that it's really seeping into the skin. Do make sure that you are bringing your foundation down by your neck as well as your chest just to make sure that everything is an even skin tone. Once I'm done using the Flat Top Kabuki, I do grab a damp beauty blender just to make sure that everything is nice and blended out and as flawless as can be. 
using Max Studio Finish Concealer. I will be using this underneath the eye. Yes, I am using my fingers to apply this product. You will find that your fingers make great tools for makeup application. Once I'm done, I do blend it out with a damp beauty blender. I will be using Max Prep and Prime in the color Radiant Rose to do some highlighting. I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin, blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And I do like to take off that additional product that is sitting on my lip. I don't like that washed out look, so this is something that I do like to do. And then I buff it out with a damp beauty blender. This is NYC Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder, and I am going to use this product to set all of the highlighted areas on our face, just to make sure that it doesn't move throughout the day. This is Max Studio Fix Powder, and I am going to put this powder all over my face just to set everything, making sure that everything is in place. And to put some color back into my face, I will be using Max Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. This is a beautiful color if you're going to contour or bronze your cheeks. I personally like to use this color for some contouring. It does give you a bronzy appearance, which I really love. So when I am contouring or bronzing up the face, I will create sort of like a harsh line at first and then really blend it in. Don't ever go down. If you're going to blend, blend up. That way your contour is nice and intense. I like to put this stuff everywhere just to make sure everything's nice and even. Going in with blush, this is called Melba by MAC Cosmetics. I am going to slightly put this on the apples of my cheeks. Next up is going to be Max Soft and Gentle. This is a mineralized skin finish. I like to place this on the cheekbones. The way I identify where to put this product is I like to point out the arches of my brow, place that product starting from there and into the hairline. Of course, I don't skip my Cupid's bow. Taking a clean blush brush, this is from e.l.f. I like to mix all of that so that there's no harsh lines. Using my Skinny Dip Pigment by Still Glamorous, I will reapply this onto the lid to bring some intensity to the eyelid. And now it's time to apply some lashes. Just look at the difference. Ugh, they are perfection. Next, I will be using my eyeliner pen by the Kardashian Beauty Collection. This is going to cover the band, just allowing your false lashes to appear more real than what they really are. <laughs> that sounded totally weird. Next, I am going to line my lips using Max Liner in the color Soar. I am going to overdraw my lips just a little bit, kind of giving it that Kylie Jenner look to it. Next, I will be using an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's called Creme Brulee, and this is our transition shade. Just popping that on the creases of our eyes to make sure that there's no harsh lines. I do like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the color Caramel, not only because it does lighten my eyebrows, but it does set them for the rest of the day. Taking the Semi Loose Powder by YSL, this is in the color Sand. It does have a yellow undertone to it, which is perfect for me. I like to flip it upside down to take out the product and using a damp beauty blender, I like to put this underneath my contour. This is going to intensify our contour then I blend it all in with a large face brush I am curling my false lashes along with my real lashes using L'Oreal telescopic mascara I'm going to line the real with the false and I'm even putting mascara on my lower lashes which is something that I don't really do but I have been recently last step is to set our makeup using the best damn facial spray by Nicole Guerrero this is going to give us some extra moisture and make sure that our makeup lasts all day long. That is it for today's makeup look. I hope that you guys learned something. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.